let me tell you the story of this hoodie. This hoodie was given to me as a gift by my auntie and uncle in Germany. And my mom would spend quite a lot of money on them. So when they gave me this gift, I could see not necessarily the look of resentment, but the look of guilt on their eyes. They felt very guilty. They felt very, very, how do I say this, out of place, out of touch, gave me this hoodie. It was like a five pound fucking hoodie. Five, six euro hoodie. It was cheap as fuck. From the, from the market, but even after all these years, of all this time, I'm so immensely grateful for this hoodie. I think this hoodie is absolutely and utterly beautiful. It's very simple. It's very plain. It's a branded. The name of the brand is Alex. <laughs> it's a scuffed, weird, or Chinese brand hoodie. But to me, this hoodie represents more than that. It represents ill, not necessarily ill will, but I know this, not necessarily ill preparation either, but how, how can I say this? It represents almost a lack of gratefulness that I feel when looking back at it. And it makes me happy because I'm so grateful for this hoodie because it keeps me warm and I think it looks nice. But I might look like a bum wearing it, but. I think this hoodie is the beginning of something great. And I'm fucking cold as shit. Oh god. I'm gonna put my, my hoodie, my hood up. Oh, so fucking cold. What degrees is it? It is 19 degrees in my room. Just haven't made a little Apple Watch. Oh, it's 9 degrees today. 10 degrees hotter in my room, but still cold as shit. Woo! You know, I hate this hoodie before. I hate how they were so ungrateful. I hated all of it. But, you know, as you grow up, you become grateful for what you hate. You become grateful for feeling that level of emotion in the first place because the world numbs you so much. And having that emotion there in the first place is just a blessing. Because, because it proves that you're still human. I don't people understand that enough. It sounded like a fucking waffle, but that was deep from the heart. Now it's cold. I want to sleep like two hours. For 6 a.m. I wake up. Continue doing work. Until... Ideally... At 6 a.m. I wake up. Probably going to read for a bit, like half an hour here. Try to read for half an hour. And then go to sleep. And then 6 a.m. I wake up, 6.48 a.m. Well, maybe half an hour I read, and 5 a.m. 7 a.m. I wake up. 9 a.m. I have to leave. I've got two hours of leeway time. I can get to do work and tasks. Get to the mood of doing that. I think staying awake is pointless. Because staying awake is just going to aid my fucking brain deadery even more. This phone as well, like, recently, like, my phone has proved its worth in being absolutely fucking useless but a distraction I'm kind of happy to have that as a distraction because if I know that my phone's a distraction the likelihood of me spending time on it is significantly reduced and I can afford to spend more time on work instead which is why I like in the first place I like being productive I like the idea of waking up yeah I got work to do yeah I smash all my work smash all my goals that's a very healthy way of approaching the morning that a lot of, a lot of young men do don't get to feel. Oh fuck man, cold as shit. I'm gonna go my warm blanket soon. Oh big button but this keeps shit keeps coming up. Really annoying. Uh, I want to like eat food a bit. But Brian Johnson was right about the going to sleep hungry thing. I'm worried about the nutrients that my body needs to grow. You know, men at 21 they stop growing. I'm steadily like, approaching 21, so I don't want to fuck up any opportunity I can get to grow. Grow taller, that is. I don't want to be like this height forever in my life. I want to be much, much taller. And like, obviously, you know, what's the point if you're so tall, etc., 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 bro? It's just. Me and my own self satisfaction. Oh god, where the fuck's the corner? No. 
no matter what you do. Oh, I will always love you. The corner wouldn't be here. I hate to see this. Uh, I haven't seen this so long. Oh, I love swimming though. Swimming is kind of fun today. Corner. Oh, yay, Franklin. Ah. Let me get my tablet. You guys can see why I don't know read it. Tablet time, it's a Chinese Huawei tablet. All the shit, got thick bezels, background, I kinda like it. I use it for purely reading. I have an app called Stay Free. You can see the time you spend on other apps. Like today, I. Oh my god, I don't know if I can read for five minutes, you know? I'm so fucking tired. Five minutes on Stay Free. No, five minutes on Adobe Acrobat Reader. And three seconds on System UI. Yesterday was 41 minutes on just Adobe Acrobat Reader. So I use the tablet just for reading and getting more knowledge. And I think that's the biggest value of it. It's like almost reading a real book, but the screen. I wish I could go on um, a figure out how to. I can figure out how to use um, like night light on. Screen, screen, screen. System navigation bar, date and time. The display. Um. What's the current network speed? Current network speed and think bar. I don't even fucking have my Wi-Fi turned on this. Sleep, off limits, eyesight protection, daydream, what's daydream? Always mind this place when you're being charged, no, what the fuck? Don't do that. Color temperature. Oh, I can, I can get warm. Yeah, I changed it to super warm. No, nah, it's too warm. <laughs> Let me try to change it to a bit more less warm. Oh, you, you guys watch me fucking change my tablet so I can read. I want to read like, try to read a book a day or something. That's fucking crazy. Not a book a day, a book a week. What am I saying? 365 books a year, that's impossible. That's, I need, that's maybe a full time effort. And even then, it's still not impossible. I want to try to read a book a week. Uh, it's 52 weeks in a year, so that's 52 books in a year. I've already smashed to my phone. God, I forgot what my phone was for a good second. Uh, where's my book list? Books I've read so far. I've read The Full Time Job Trap by Hamza as a free book. The Millionaire Fast Lane by MJ DeMarco. Tao Te Ching by Lao Shu. Unscripted by MJ DeMarco. Psychology of Sales by Brian Tracy. Atomic Habits. It was four days overdue on Atomic Habits. I was on the 11th due to finish the point of power, but I underestimated how long it would take. It's currently the 18th. It's been set, I've been a week reading it, but I'm going to read like 40 minutes a day. I should be reading for like an hour, two hours a day if I'm trying to finish it. I want to, I'm on page 100 or something. Let me check. I'm on page 106, so if I were try to finish it, it would take me perhaps. I want to end of this week. I want to try to finish it during the weekend for four days, so. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then that next week I have another book to read, and that book is going to be Wattle Getting Rich, and then after Wattle Getting Rich, it's a very short book, 58 pages, and then after that I'll, be, I'll read Deep Work by Cal Newport, and I'm really looking forward to that. Brandon Carter, a big OG influencer in the online telemarketing, not telemarketing, but the online influencer space, um, he really recommended this book. So high heavens, You're like, oh, if you don't have the ability to work hard, what the fuck's the point? You have the ability to focus for a few hours a day, what the hell, what the hell's the point? And I really agree with that. So, other than that, I think I'll catch you guys in the next video. The next video will be soon anyway. Because I talk so much. I think this YouTube thing would be great for me, personally. 
because I get to really vent out my emotions, talk, talk, uh, and talk so much more here. And in real life, I get to listen more than I talk because I have this outlet. I can push for my talking, and after that, I can you know, make it to a person about everything. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Jesus! Again? <sighs> Oh, uh, is my feet free? My feet, are, my feet are nice, bro. They look haunted though, cause of the lighting. Guys, why won't this camera fucking obey my instructions when I click the button? When I click the button.